Now she's just a speck on the horizon now. She's about six or seven miles out, so another 30 minutes or so, she'll be here. Here she comes. just been so much of the shoreline that's been eaten away over the past two years with the record high lake levels. First in that Laker class design of boat that I love and uh, that many people are familiar with. That's if anyone's familiar with the look of the Edmund Fitzgerald, it's the same class of boat. Fitzgerald was a bit longer, 100 feet or so. So this one was originally built to to haul limestone. It was a straight decker, limestone coal steel and then in 1975 she was converted to a self unloader but uh, I just I love her lines love her look and uh, hopefully we'll finally get a shot of a boat coming through the canal on a beautiful day really I mean there's a lot of drama in the skies a lot of heavy clouds a lot of contrast in the clouds and so uh, Okay, so now we wait. Let's see if she turns that bow. I can't tell you how many times I've been out here. And, uh, waiting for this, <laughs> for the boat to make the turn and enter the channel, and she just goes sailing right on by. She might do that. It's pretty breezy. 12 knots or so, the wind. I don't know. She's up pretty far. Is she going to make the turn? What's she going to do? I think she's too far out. But she's approaching the markers now. We'll see. The sky is going to provide for a really high contrasty shot. We're on the wrong side of the pier to catch any sun on the side of the boat. We would need to be over there, which is a 20 minute drive and about a 15 minute walk.
So I just heard from the captain, Mr. Sykes, that uh, he was informing the uh, bridge tender that he's going to be inbound in about 30 minutes. He's been sitting out there doing donuts for the last hour or so. The Coast Guard's going out now. So it looks like the captain's lining her up now in the channel. So. Just a few more minutes. Big old f dark cloud, of course. just love how when they come through it gets so quiet and still everyone's quiet like waking up from a sleep beautiful silent. Say, do you feel better now? Yes. Salute. Yeah. Yeah. I'll catch up with you later. 
So, about a two hour wait for the, uh, for the Sykes to come in, but uh, it's always a pleasure and it's always beautiful and almost spiritual getting so close to those ships and watching them come in. And the Sykes really is a very special boat. It's the oldest of the Laker class boats. It was built in Lorain, Ohio in 1949 and it set records the first three years she was out. She carries about uh, 20, 21,000 tons of uh, cargo, mostly coal or taconite ore, limestone. And she's never missed a season, which is uh, pretty unusual. Just a beautiful boat. About 628 feet, I think. A little disappointed in the sky. I mean, right when she was entering the mouth of the the canal here, she a uh, big old dark cloud came rolling in and covered up all of the beautiful dappled sunlight that was on the water. Huh, we'll see what we get. And it's a pity too that for as long as I've been chasing having a boat come in through the canal that it had to happen in the middle of the month of May and not because she was coming in for repairs but she's coming off the lakes like other boats are coming off the lakes because there just isn't the cargo to, to haul. The steel mills are shutting down their furnaces and not enough people to work at the docks. This whole coronavirus thing and COVID-19 is, you know when it affects the economy to the level where they can't make steel, uh, then that's pretty serious. And it's gonna take a long time for the economy to recover. So I feel bad for the guys who come in for indefinite layup now in Sturgeon Bay, they'll all go home. You think about the chain reaction that a downed economy has. You know, 33 million people in the U.S. are filed for unemployment in the past six weeks. That's, it's crazy. You know, as far as the blog goes, I think 
today was a good day. Uh, we'll see how it turns out. See how uh, the photos turn out. Maybe I can get one decent one. You'll take a look at that in a moment. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this look again behind the door at one of the Lakers coming in, laying up at base ship. And uh, if you don't mind, hit the like button if you like what you saw. Subscribe and uh, hit the bell. And if you hit the bell, you'll be notified by email uh, when I post a new video from behind the door. So that's it for now. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you down the road. Thanks for watching.